What is up guys, James here from the Light of Riga YouTube channel, and I got another shipment. Oh baby, this is a big one, <laughs> okay? And it's only half the shipment, and uh, I wanted to bring you in on it like I like to do, because like I always say, opening crystals, new crystals, it's one of the funnest things there is. <laughs> it really is. I want to bring you guys in on it. I already started without you, I'm sorry. And uh, I ordered so many crystals and uh, so long ago that I don't even know what half this stuff is. I have to check my notes to see what I bought. Like for instance, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> um, it could be Lodalite. It, it might be. There's some inclusions in there. I don't know. I don't know what half this stuff is. I don't remember ordering this. I don't know if I can even sell this. <laughs> uh, so they look pretty cool. Some of them. Anyway, oh, we got some smoky uh, quartz here from Brazil. Look at the the markings on this one. It looks like uh, some st starberry. Very cool. I like these little smokies. They're very light smokies. Almost champagne smokies. Very cool. Well, I'm going to start opening up more crystals. Uh, I'm going to do some savvy editing because there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. So um, let's get into it. Uh, more crystals that I don't know what they are and I don't remember buying. <laughs> are these like free gifts or something? I don't know. <laughs> um, these look like they have some uh, smoky coloration to it. Boy, my camera's really protesting. Yeah, these are just like massive chunks. Some of them are crystals. Huh, I don't know what they are. Like I said, I'll do some research. Oh man, I believe this is my color change fluorite. Uh, this fluorite changes color in UV light. It's from England, I believe. And, um... I don't know if this is going to work. If we put some UV light on it, we'll see what happens. It's supposed to turn blue or bluish, I think, or, or purplish. As you can see, it looks purple in the light. Look at that. Wow. I can't wait to get this out in the sun and see this fluorite change colors. I only got one of them just because I'm not familiar with this material. So I don't know if I want to stock it in my shop. So I just bought one just to check it out, just to see what it's all about. Roger Lee fluorite. All right, these are very clearly some Elestial Crystals. Look at that. Actually, now that I think about it, these are Elestials. These are all Elestials. Oh, I thought my Elestials were coming in a different package. That's why I was confused by them. <laughs> okay, so these are some of my Elestials that uh, have come in. Very cool. Very cool. I'm going to have a lot of Elestials uh, in this shipment, and, and I thought the next shipment. I don't know. We'll see. There's two boxes here. i got to get through them all. Oh, yeah. More Elestial crystals. There we go. Look at these bad boys. Very cool. Elestial crystals are fantastic for... Um, raising your vibration for meditating with they just have such a high vibe energy More celestial look at that one. It's a cluster. That's for sure Man, I gotta I gotta do some research into what I bought I forgot <laughs> oh man Beautiful look at these markings come on camera look at those I got these celestial crystals for a great price. What was happening was uh, the people I buy crystals from, they had a booth in Tucson and they didn't want to bring anything back. So at the end of the show, they were liquidating. So I got a lot of celestials for a good price. And you know me, I was more than willing to help them out. <laughs> Look at this one. Oh, beautiful. I love these little tiny little handheld celestials. Usually celestials are gigantic, right? They're big and they're hard to take with you. But when you have one of these smaller ones, you can... Uh, Take it with you to the forest if you want to do a meditation. You know, if you're traveling, you can take these with you and they still have the same high vibe energy as say uh, a much larger celestial, but they're travel size and they're they're manageable. So um, I'm gonna probably be offering these up in my shop for very cheap because I the more the more people that have celestial crystals, the better the world will be. <laughs> oh, look at this one. It's gorgeous. Oh, this one I like. Me likey. I don't know why. 
You know, do we ever know why we're drawn to a particular crystal? We just are. And uh, that one is calling my name. I like that one. Are you guys sitting down for this? Here we go. Spirit Quartz from South Africa. Oh my goodness. I have always wanted one of these. But they are so prohibitively uh, hard to find, one, and a little bit uh, not cheap. <laughs> so I've never got to uh, to work with one of these before. But here we are, guys. And I couldn't be happier. Look at this beautiful specimen. Can we fix the light so it's a little bit better here? Oh, my goodness. Just, oh, my goodness. Um, that's so epic. It's got a nice little purple color. I'm excited for that one. If you thought that one was epic. Oh man, don't mind the sticker. I don't know what, in fact, we don't need stickers. We don't need no stickers on our crystals. Wow, this is amazing. It definitely has a very powerful energy. I can feel it already. I mean, it's, it's basically an celestial formation where each point has an celestial formation. That is nuts. <laughs> that is so nuts. It's got a nice flat base or flat-ish, so it just sits. Oh, so cool. Oh, you can't see that. We're running out of space here. Let's start moving stuff out of the way. Get the, get the high-priority crystals <laughs> on the screen here. Okay, well, good enough. Look at all that. All right, I'll be back. It looks like we're back to Elestials. There's no rhyme or reason to these boxes, how they're packaged. Uh, you know, I ordered, I honestly don't know how much I paid. Thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah, did I just say that out loud? I, I paid a lot and uh, so they're just thrown in these boxes all willy nilly. So we're gonna have a mixture of stuff. I think that keeps it interesting. Oh, look at this one. It's a quartz cluster. It looks like it's got a little smoky coloration. Almost like a, a, a reddish smoky. Like the, like the tiniest hint of pink. Uh, that could be some iron inclusions or it just could be the lighting we're in. You really don't know until you're in natural light. So I'll take that outside later and see what that's about. Yeah, I've seen pictures and video of all these crystals, but um, you know, it's just not the same as seeing them up close in person. So. Um, this is definitely, I'm, I'm truly trying to remember when I bought this and why. <laughs> I bought some, some of these things so long ago. Um, and they're all here today, so anyway. Oh, here goes some more of those smoky quartz points. Oh, they're very cool. I like these. They got pretty nice clarity. I believe these are from Minas Gerais, Gerais uh, in Brazil, which is a state in Brazil where uh, most of the crystals come from. You know, Br Brazil is a very crystal rich country and they actually have crystals in, all, in every state in Brazil. Um, and, uh, but Minas Gerais has like the most. I mean, the name of the state is Main Mine. More or less geal action. Very cool. More celestial formations. You know, celestials, another thing I like about them is they just do their own thing. There's no rhyme or reason. They're just like, okay, we're growing. How can we grow in the most creative way possible? <laughs> that's, uh, you know, that's something that's kind of unique to celestials. It feels like they're just like, we're not doing the usual stuff over here. <laughs> okay, we got our own thing going and it's going to be different every time. Very cool. Love celestial. I may need to speed things up here. At this rate, we're looking at a two hour video. <laughs> so let's uh, let's just take a quick gander at these celestials and move on. Handheld beauties. More celestials. This one's got some sheen to it. Man, what am I gonna do with all these? You guys need to like buy some, I think. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be dirt cheap, trust me. Yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. Uh, all, well, most, if not all, of these crystals will be available in my, come on. Oh, this one doesn't like it. 
Oh, this one's camera shy. Okay, you can go off camera, you silly. Some people are just shy. It's okay. Um, all, all, most, if not all. Oh, two shy ones. What's going on here? What's going on here, little guy? Anyway, most if most of these crystals will be available in my Etsy shop. Uh, the link is in the description below. Obviously, most of these it's gonna take me some time to list. <laughs> It's going to take me weeks, maybe months to list all this stuff. So give me some time, obviously. But check out my Etsy shop if you want to learn more about these crystals. More Elestials? There you go. Jeez, the camera's just like... No, I don't want to. I don't want to do it. Stupid camera. It just stops working, huh? Wow. Severe camera issues. Uh, I'll, I'll restart the camera and see if that's the issue here. All right, I made a little more space. Restarted the camera. Pulled out more celestial crystals that still don't want to focus. Oh, there we go. Much better. More better. Elestrial crystals! I don't know what else to say about these other than I love it. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of Elestrial talk, I guess, on this video. These are a little bit bigger than the ones we've been seeing. Still handheld size, which I love, right? You could hold this and take it with you. Fits great in hand. Wow, look at that. Some crystals, you know, you pick it up and you're like, oh, this is a rock. It formed in the, in the earth. Other crystals you pick up is like, what the heck? This is a tool that was made for humans. <laughs> Swear to God. Have you guys ever felt that about a crystal before? Personally, I think crystals are on this planet specifically to help uh, the flora and fauna, right? Plants grow better around crystals. Animals are happier around crystals. Humans vibrate at a frequency that promotes healing around crystals. So while, yes, these are many people would think just rocks i don't think so i think just like the earth provides plant medicine i think the earth also provides uh mineral medicine for us and i think that's what these are really to be honest with you as we get uh, deeper into this box the crystals are going to get bigger and bigger uh, the people i buy from are great excellent packers and uh, they always put the bigger crystals at the bottom so we're getting about halfway through box one <laughs> So, uh, if you're still here, God bless you. <laughs> this one's got a bunch of terminations coming out of it. Nice, I like it. Wow, this one's got uh, different inclusions. It looks like mica. Is that mica? I think it's mica included uh, on this celestial, so that's pretty cool. Very nice. Mike is pretty fairly common, so it's not like, ooh, huge inclusion. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoy these uh, these unboxing videos as much as I do. Well, there's no way you enjoy them as much as I do, but <laughs> if you enjoy them, let me know just uh, so I can know to keep doing them, basically. Um, I'm really, uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, I'm really looking to grow my crystal shop. Um, the, the further I go into this journey, the more I realize that, you know, my role on this planet is to assist in healing. And one way, maybe not the best may, way, maybe not the only way, but one way that I can do that is to uh, make sure that the crystals go where they need to go, right? Uh, you know, I'm just uh, I'm just sort of like the, the limo driver for these crystals. They use synchronicity to get to where they need to go, and I just uh, help facilitate that. So uh, if that's my role... I'm willing to uh, take it on. And while it doesn't feel like ma my main purpose in life, it definitely feels like one way that I can uh, come closer to it, right? I, in my younger years, I would work stupid menial jobs that didn't help humanity, didn't help the planet in any way. And it just feels so empty. This was a nice one, look at that. It just it feels so unsatisfying. Um, but this is like one of the few things that I've done in my life that feels like I'm giving back to the human race in some small, teeny little, teeny, teeny, 
tiny way. <laughs> You're running out of space very quickly around here. The Celestials don't stop, man. It just don't stop. <laughs> so, oh boy, this is crazy. Look at this one. That's got a nice smoky color. I see a rainbow in there. Oh man, that's nice. It's such a unique formation. Whoever gets this one's gonna be lucky. That's a nice one. I don't know. Everyone likes different crystals for different reasons, but that one I like. That's an odd one. Look at that guy. Aren't you a little unique little guy? Huh. I'm telling you guys, Elestials do their own thing. I love it. Oh, now they're getting bigger and bigger as we get nearer to the bottom. Yeah, so I thought the Elestials were coming in a separate package, but I guess they're here. About 32 kilograms of Elestial Quartz. Some smoky, some citrine, some clear quartz, but 32 kilograms. <laughs> Yikes. Bought in bulk. I bought for closeout prices. So I think it's pretty clear that uh, in the next coming weeks and months, I am your Elestial Crystal guy. <laughs> Come to me, friends, if you want an Elestial. There's plenty. <laughs> There's no shortage. Wow. This one's got some amazing clarity for an celestial quartz oh cool all right as we get to the bottom of box one we're gonna see a size increase in these celestials that's for Soiton. and I'm telling you guys these are quality celestial quartzes oh man I'm so I'm so satisfied <laughs> I do need more space though here come two more can I really show you all of these? Do I have time? Are you guys gonna watch an hour long video? Two hours maybe? Who knows? Beautiful, beautiful. A few more to go on this box. And another two more. Looks like it's got Roman numeral writing here. <laughs> Is this crystal number 16? No, what is that, TXI? There's no T in Roman numerals. But that's crazy. Oh, look at the druzy on that. Yeah, boy. Rainbows, druzy, Roman numerals. That's an odd one. And then there's this one. It's got a little bit of a citrine coloration to it. I'd say light citrine. I wouldn't call it a citrine, but you know, pretty much uh, any crystal that's got a smoky coloration that borders on yellow people consider citrine these are the last two of this first box and they're a little bit bigger than the rest since they're at the bottom of the box very smart very intelligent this one's a bit fragile look at this one it's like a plate a celestial plate look at this little guy hey there buddy Uh, he doesn't want to say hello. <laughs> Very cool. So what I'm going to do now is uh, pause this video, make some space, and then we'll, we'll dip into box number two. All right, guys. So I've cleared the way. I'm sweating. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a lot of paper, but uh, we're back at it. We're at the second box now, and these crystals seem to be a little bit bigger, so it should go a little bit faster. Uh, the first one I opened was this one. And this is Lodolite. Oh, man. I just, I can't say enough about Lodolite. Lodolite is, is one of my favorite crystals for just feeling earth energy, basically. For feeling nature energy. If you want to take a nature energy with you in crystalline form, I would say Lodolite. Okay, I think we're getting into uh, Lemurians now. This is a very <laughs> odd formation. Can you, what in the heck is this? <laughs> It's got Lemurian striations on it. It looks Lemurian. It's definitely, uh, definitely Diamant Diamantina quartz. No, not definitely, but it looks like it to me. Uh, Diamantina is a small city in uh, Minas Gerais where a lot of the best Brazilian quartz comes from. All right, we're getting into some good stuff here. Uh, 
at the very least, this is clear quartz. Uh, looks to be... I mean, I bought some clear quartz and I bought Lemurian. So this looks to be the clear quartz from Diamantina. Very nice. I already have a lot of these, but I bought more. Look at the clarity of this one. Phenomenal clarity. Beautiful. And you know, starberry markings. I love these starberry markings. When you take them into a meditation, oftentimes you can pull information out of them, out of these starberry markings. So um, these crystals, these quartz crystals with these starberry markings are a lot more complex than they would seem at the surface. Uh, looks to be more Diamantina quartz, clear quartz from Brazil. This, this bad boy, is, I thought I saw some rainbows in there. Oh man, I'm gonna have a field day just connecting with these crystals, cleansing these crystals, getting to know these crystals. I love crystals. You know, I feel a lot like a drug dealer, right? A lot of drug dealers really like drugs. <laughs> and so they'll become drug dealers so that they can get their drugs for free, basically. So that they're always around drugs. Um, but for me, it's crystals. I love crystals so much that I gotta sell crystals so I can be around as many crystals as possible. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. <laughs> uh, more clear quartz from uh, Brazil. These are fairly, fairly clear. Look at that. Beautiful. This one's not as clear, but it's got some interesting stuff going on at the surface here. Wow, look at that. Look at all these markings on these crystals. There's just so much information waiting to be tapped into. It's exciting. Uh -huh. I've kept a little quiet about this because I've had this in the past. They've sold out almost instantly. High demand. People love these crystals. So I got more. This is a Shandong Morian uh, Smoky Quartz. Uh, basically what it is is Morian Quartz is quartz that was uh, underwent a, a massive amount of radiation uh, in the earth. And as a result, they come out super black, super dark. You can't see through them at all. And uh, they're very grounding, they're very earth-based, and especially when the, there's so many inclusions, like on this one, these uh, have a lot of epidote inclusions on them, which gives it an even stronger earth energy, a stronger grounding energy, but also amplifies the energy. So these Shandongs, I got more coming, are very special. Ooh, more Shandong here with uh, a lot of epidote. <laughs> oh my goodness, more epidote than smoky. Holy cow. What the heck? You guys seen this? <laughs> oh my god, dude. What in the world? What in the... I don't, I don't know what to say. I got no words. I don't know what to say. I mean, look at my excitement pulling these out of a box. Can you imagine pulling this out of the ground? <laughs> Good god. I'm just, I'm just floored by these Shandongs. Holy cow. I haven't had any clusters before. I've only had the Shandong points. So we'll see if these are as popular or more popular. Who knows? I don't know. Dude. Dude. <laughs> I was super lucky to get these Shandongs. I got a bunch of them. Uh, what happens, uh, what happened is they post, the people I bought from posted them all at once. And I happened to be uh, at my computer ready to go. And I swooped in at the, people were just trying to buy them and I swooped in and bought all of them <laughs> right before people started catching on that these were available. So uh, your boy came up and he's gonna pass the, the luck, the happiness onto you. <laughs> oh my God. Um, holy cow. I know it's the, it's not hitting you the same way it's hitting me since you're just seeing a video of it. You're not holding it, but oh my god. These crystals are just crazy. Man, I imagine if you put one of these, you know, in a in your bedroom or a room that you want to cleanse of negative energy, I bet they would do a great job of cleansing it. But one thing I would worry about is the epidote inclusions would if there's any negative energy in the room, might amplify it. 
So it might be a double-edged sword. I haven't really worked the Shandongs too much, a little bit. So uh, I'm going to have to do more investigations to really see what they're about. But that's kind of my initial thoughts anyway. I know some of you watching this video may actually have some Shandong. Uh, Morian Quartz. Morian Smoky. Uh, so maybe you can tell me uh, how it's uh, working for you. Dude, what in the heck? This thing is heavy. It's large. It's got multiple points, terminations, all sorts of inclusions. I think this one has Wolfenite or something. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I have it written down, so I'll check it. But man, man, oh man. Hold on. Look at that. That's just the underside. <laughs> that's, that's not where the terminations are coming out of. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at these inclusions. What the heck? What are these? Definitely epidote here. This is all epidote. But as far as this pink, I'm not sure what the matrix is. Again, I have it written down, so I'll do some research. And uh, of course, when it comes time to listen in my shop, I'll have all the information readily available. But right now, I'm a little perplexed. Look at this guy just chilling. Hey buddy, <laughs> what a fat little point on Matrix. Oh man, I don't know if you guys can see the druzy on this. It's sparkly. And we're in some terrible artificial lighting. If you took this out in the sun, you might be blinded. Can I fix this lighting? I mean, we're having some lighting issues, I think. I mean, look at this. No, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. Sorry guys. This is an uh, amateur hour <laughs> right here, in case you haven't noticed. This one's shedding its matrix a little bit. What a unique specimen. These Shandongs are crazy. What is that? Is that calcite? It's got chatoyancy, whatever it is. Crazy. <laughs> Very cool. Here's a point, sort of, with uh, epidote inclusions. This one really shows you the extent of the radiation that these crystals underwent. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe if it wants to participate. Look at that. You have to be very careful around epidote. If you're in a happy mood, in an abundant mood, and you have good vibes and you're speaking well, then epidote's going to magnify all of that. But at the same time, if you're surrounded by negativity, if you're putting out negative energy, Epidote will magnify that. And it's going to give you more of what you're, what you're putting out. So it's, it's sort of like an amplifier. And if you're, um, if you're in the right place, it can be a magical crystal to, to propel you towards more abundance. Here's another point. Wow. Very interesting. Man, I'm going to have to keep one of these Shandongs for myself. Uh, sorry, guys. I don't know which one yet, but one of these is mine. Oh, look at this point. Ah. Huh? No? You don't want it? You don't want it? Maybe this is going to be mine since... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, he doesn't want to share himself or herself. But look at the epidote inclusions on these. Oh, man. Some really cool stuff coming out of China. Well, maybe it's a bad time to say that. Well, here's a random. Look at this. <laughs> smoky quartz. Very light smoky. Almost a champagne. Almost a citrine. I wouldn't call it citrine, but it's close, right? And it's got beautiful rainbows in there. Oh, I like this little guy. Very cool. I like him. You're cool. I don't remember buying this much smoky, but I guess here it is. I can see rainbows, but I don't know if they come through on camera. Yeah, probably not. This camera never picks up rainbows. I don't know why. I want to invent a rainbow identifying camera. This is a chunk of smoky. I don't remember buying half of this stuff, but it's here now. I'll do something with it. It's like a, uh, <laughs> it's like a weapon or something. I don't know what this thing is. More smoke. Did I buy this much smoky? Again, more rainbows. Do you see them? 
Sort of. Kind of. They're there. You can't have too much smoky quartz. It's got a lot of grounding crystals in this box. Do not remember any of this, but here's more smoky. All of these have rainbows. Beautiful rainbows. That's very cool. You know, rainbows really generally raise the vibration of the crystal and make it a happier crystal to be around. At least in my experience. Everyone experiences crystals differently. Uh, we got a Shandong uh, point that was hiding. I don't think this has epidote, so this is just a straight up Shandong smoky quartz. Beautiful. That's a nice one. Look at that. Wow. These are completely natural. You know, a lot of times you'll see crystals in shops that are completely black like these. Uh, but 99 times out of 100, unless they're the Morian quartz, then they're probably heat treated. Okay, here goes a Lemurian with tons of rainbows. Oh, look at these striations, first of all. And then look at the rainbows. Isn't that gorgeous? Very cool. And does it stand? Oh my, it stands on its own. And it's not cut base, right? This is all completely natural. It, it could stand if you want it to. Nice. We'll lay it down just in case I knock it over. I'm a klutz. And more smoky. This one's got a time link window to the past. And like its little brothers, it's got rainbows. At least I saw one. I thought I saw one. Beautiful face. Is that Dow? That might be a Dow termination. I'll have to give it a closer look. I'm not 100% sure. You really have to sit there and count the, the edges. I don't know what this one is. It looks like it might be a leftover from the Elestials. Possibly. They mix and match, right? Uh, they try to make the boxes as even as possible. And if there's a crystal that'll fit in one box. So they don't keep the, the crystals, the like crystals together. More smoky, it seems like. This one's got a shovel face. Look at that shovel face. And it's long. Look at that. That's a cool one. I, I dig this one. Man. That's a nice one. Very cool. I love these shovel faces. They're great for scanning. Scanning a, a person's body for, for dis-ease or, or scanning for blockages. The shovel faces are great. Yeah, I don't remember buying so much smoky quartz. Did they make a mistake? <laughs> I don't know. It's like bake air in your favor. You get smoky quartz. No, I don't know. Maybe I did. Like I said, I bought so much and over such a long period of time that who knows anymore? <laughs> don't know. Ah! <laughs> Lemurian. Check out the Lemurian. Oh man, look at this crystal key. Huge crystal key. Come on, focus. They stick my whole finger in there. Look at that. It's very uh, bright, it's very clear, so it doesn't uh, focus as well as the other more opaque crystals, but man, Lemurians are my jam. This one's got so many cool aspects to it. I love that key, very cool. I'm gonna have to do some deep diving in that crystal. Not 100% sure about this one. It looks to be clear quartz, more rainbows. Man, these guys really brought the rainbows this time. Come on camera. You can do it! <laughs> oh well, there's a big fat rainbow right there. <laughs> there, I see it. Can you see it on the camera? Why doesn't the camera pick it up? You silly. Anyway, this is a, a nice little chunk of what seems to be clear quartz, so very cool. Yeah, I don't remember buying this either. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. Ta-da! Hoochie Mama. What in the heck? This is a massive quartz. Um, rainbows. <laughs> Every crystal I pick up in this box has a rainbow in it. Wow, this thing is heavy. <laughs> I'm already sweating. I got my window closed to reduce outside noise and it's hot in here. And these crystals are making me hot. <laughs> right, when you're around a lot of crystals, there's a lot of energy being put out and you get hot. I get hot a lot of times. I only mention that because I'm sweating all over the place. Look at this one. Oh boy, here's another clear quartz from Brazil. 
Oh no, this is Lodalite! Oh, it's Lodalite! This was Lodalite too. That's right, I remember now. If you look in there, there's Lodalite inclusions. Oh my good, I paid a lot of money for that. Now I remember. Now I remember. That thing was expensive. So was this, but you know what? Lodalite isn't cheap, and for good reason. Lodalite, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, or maybe the begin. No, it was the beginning of this box with this Lodalite. Was that um, it's like nature in crystalline form. <laughs> is really what it is. Yeah, yeah. My one and only sphere. Uh, usually I buy all sorts of spheres, but this time I chose one sphere, and that is OJ. I love OJ so much. Ocean Jasper. This comes from Madagascar. Uh, the sources of this have been depleted, so all the Ocean Jasper we're gonna get uh, is out in the world, I believe. Unless they find another one, but they've been looking all over Madagascar. They haven't found any. It's a finite island, so I wouldn't expect more reserves of OJ to appear. But who knows? You never know. Gaia is full of secrets. And surprises. We're getting down to it. Uh, these are two things I got. I got a kilogram of clear quartz and a kilogram of blue kyanite. And uh, these are for... Uh, these are going to be for some projects that I like to do. I might do some wire wrapping, but mostly they're for um, gifts. Every time someone uh, orders something from me, I, I give a bunch of gifts with it. So that's what these are. Oh, wait a second. How much how much clear quartz did I get? <laughs> did they did they make a mistake? I mean, this is four kilograms. This is four kilograms. <laughs> What in the heck am I going to do with all this? I have to check my records, but that is uh, this shipment. Whoa. Um, I was told that there's another box coming, so uh, if that is true, I will... <laughs> I've stacked papers like a castle. Now they're falling. Uh, if that's true, I will um, do another video. Uh, I have to check my records to see if this is it, but wow, what an unboxing. The Shandong, the, the Lestials... The Lodalite, I mean, come on. <laughs> Look at this Lodalite. Epic. But uh, that's going to be my unboxing. And uh, like I said earlier, if you want any of these crystals, just let me know. Check my shop frequently. If you have anything specifically that you want, um, send me an Etsy message or put something in the comment section of the YouTube video. And uh, maybe I can list it up for you. At least give you a, a quote on what it's going to cost. So... I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you for joining me on this crystal opening adventure. Because that's what it is. For me, at least, it's an adventure. And uh, I want to thank you for joining me on this adventure. So leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy crystalling. Peace.